Hi there, this is Robert Simon, and in this video I would like to talk about the media players, what are they, what do they do, and what is a good media player selection. Basically, what they do is they display the digital signage content on the connected uh, screen. So on one hand, they are connected to a CMS server, download the data, download the information, assets, and everything else display it on the uh, connected signage screen and of course in the background they are creating reports uploading proof of play information doing remote maintenance of the device and many other things so on one hand they have to be able to communicate to the cms server it is over the network is it is over the wi-fi network or it can be a uh, special communication protocol to their de uh, devices that uh, communicate over that. And on the other hand, they have an output, something like an HDMI cable, and basically they render content and display it on the screen. On the output side, the, the resolution is uh, the huge difference. Some devices just support the HD, full HD, or 4K output. And also the differences are in the peripherals that the device can handle. So for example, if you need to use our HDMI input and mix that into the content, you need to select a, a device that can do that. What are the differences? There are hardware dif differences. Of course, these devices are running a browser, a full screen browser. And basically the browsers are a single thread application, which means that only one core is processing the, the content creation and the visualization. So it is matter that what kind of CPU is inside of the uh, device. The second one, how much memory does it have to be able to render the large images, run the uh, videos, preloading the videos to the memory to be able to play if there is a hardware acceleration for the video playback, so if it is played by the native uh, uh, video player or everything is done through the uh, browser itself, it's a huge performance difference. And uh, when to use what? It's a good question because if you have to have thousands of screens, of course, you are going to look up for a cheaper device, and those are the Android devices. If you think about reliability, then you will select a bright sign device because they are pretty good in long-term maintenance. If you need to have 16 video outputs from the same device, then you have to select a Windows device because there you can install multiple video cards into the same box and and then it can do everything in the same computer, basically. And if your customer requests an uh, all-in-one solution, then the, you have to select, uh, for example, uh, a Samsung or an LG system on chip device where everything is inside the, the, the screen itself, like in this uh, LG screen. And the last huge differentiator that differentiates the devices is the long-term maintenance. So, for example, if I take a look at this bright sign device through the bright uh, cloud, you can remotely manage the device and you can even reinstall the device through the uh, bright sign portal. But if you use a cheap Android plastic customer or a consumer device, you, you cannot do anything else but go on site, you know, climb to the back of the TV and disconnect the device and install everything manually. So the maintenance of an Android device is much more than if you invest more at the beginning into the price of the media player and you buy a bright sign device, then your long life support will be cheaper. This is what I wanted to say about the devices in general, and let's take a look at them one by one.